June 2009. Mike Bettis is reporting in depth on the Vortex 2 research project that uses cutting edge instruments to surround and study tornadoes. Vortex 2 is basically the largest field experiment of tornadoes in history. All these scientists are gathering all this data on tornadoes in hopes of figuring out what actually makes them form and how we can actually warn people before a tornado even happens. It looks like it keeps funnels dropping down and dropping down. Suddenly, it's go time for the research team. They're about to encounter their project's first tornado, and Mike and his crew have a front row seat. It's not every day you get a tornado like this that forms so perfectly you can actually see it and see it from a really safe distance, too. This tornado, developing in real time, would become the most studied and watched of its kind. Yeah, well, at this point, that funnel is so close to the ground, Mike, that I suspect... I was in the studio. We were tag-teaming, covering this. It was pretty cutting-edge kind of stuff to be having this kind of in-depth analysis from the field and the studio at the same time. There was definitely a feeling here of being a part of history. Tornado warning right now in Goshen County, Wyoming, a fairly unpopulated area, and you can see just a beautiful tornado as it moves its way. It almost looks now, Dr. Forbes, like it's moving almost due south. It looks like it's turned some. Yeah. And when it got really close to us, you know, the top just turned like it was taking a bow almost. It turned, looked down, and there was just this hollow core that you could just look right into. And we watched the whole evolution, Mike from a bottle car ah. to a narrow tornado to a wedge tornado. Look at that. You can see almost... Dr. Forbes, you can look right inside the tornado. That is unbelievable. Look at that. You can look right into the top of it. And if you look very carefully, you see sort of a narrow little filament right down the middle. That's sort of the center of the tornado where some of the air is rising. A thick layer of clouds covers the top of tornadoes, so they're almost never seen like this from above but a downdraft is pushing against the twister, turning the vortex, and allowing for this rare view inside. And I was just looking up at it just like, is this really happening? Like, am I really watching this? Because I had never seen anything like it in my life. It covered about an eight mile path and lasted about 25 minutes all told. So this was really a great success for the Vortex 2 project. The research team collected a massive amount of information on the EF2 tornado, enough to keep scientists busy for years to come.